Today we are going to talk about all things water. I'm going to go through uh, a bunch of different scenarios, different water issues uh, that might be taking place. But to start off, this particular unit is a tin bunk. So it does not have what I call the super bunk um, or the, the singer bunk. Uh, this one is set up with the, uh, the front rack of three. <clears throat> so what we've got here is this, uh, the bottom bunk in the, in the tin bunk iteration. The mattress, as you can see, has already been pulled and we lifted up the, um, the panel bloat, exposing the water tank, which is what you see here. This is your fresh water and all things water begin right here. So this is your fill that comes from the outside. You can see this is your overflow. That's how you know when the tank is full, it just overflows onto the ground. And what we're going to talk about today are a few different things to deal with as it pertains to the water. So right here, this valve on the left, where it goes 90 degrees down through the floor, that is your drain. Uh, that, that floor uh, is, is outside. So right now, the tank is full. To drain it, you want your valve to be parallel to the water line. Perpendicular means closed, right? So that's how you drain it. Sometimes these are ball valves. Uh, most bandwagons have the ball valve. Some have a quarter turn valve. So it looks a little bit different, but the principle is the same. This is your water uh, that comes out of the tank, out of this brass fitting, into this PEX. There's a valve on both sides of the water pump. Uh, this one's a little harder to see. I'll turn that down a little bit. So you got water that comes out of the tank, through a valve, into the pump, out of the pump, and then it goes down following the floor on the driver's side, and then it goes to your sink first, then your shower, then your toilet. In the event that the carpet in near the front uh, bunk is wet, the first thing that you want to look for is you get this up, turn on your faucet, the water pump should be running, it'll vibrate, it's not really loud, but you can tell when it's running. You want to look for any sort of uh, leaks, any sources of water um, around. A lot of times it will leak, sorry about the lighting, it'll leak at the housing, or sometimes it's just a fitting on either side of the pump. Uh, so there's that. In the event that you need to drain the tank, you turn your switch off at the vanity, turn this parallel, let it drain out, it takes about 15 minutes or so, uh, and you'll know because it'll stop running out. And then um, if you need to uh, take the, any of this apart, you don't need any tools, you can do all this by hand to, uh, to tighten these off. Now the one thing I will say, anytime, whether it's replacing a water pump or uh, in this case, let's say we got to take this off because of the, there's an obstruction in the water flow, something like that. What you want to do is take these off and it threads on, you know, just, just like a garden hose, lefty loosey, righty tighty. You take these off, this particular tank is empty. And you can see that is, that's your water tank. Your obstruction should make it to that part there and you can actually see it. Which is why you want to uh, drain the tank first because if you don't, then everything will just come gushing out. But if you look down inside of these fittings, hopefully I don't lose focus. And of course I do. There we go. There is a rubber uh, seal. That rubber seal is what prevents the leaks at the fittings. But you wanna make sure you get a good seal on that. So in order to do that, get your threads started. And then you just kind of want to joss a little, a little bit to what we call get a good seat. You want to, you want it to seat well where that that rubber is sealing off uh, your water. So in the event that you're replacing a pump, you leave this on. Take this one off. Take this one off. These wire nuts are literally they just twist them on there, and you want to match your colors. Like for example, coming out of the pump, the black goes to your white wire and then red to red. Um, and you want, it's a DC pump, which is to say it's a 12 volt pump. And you wanna make sure you get those, uh, those hooked up right so it'll run. Um, as far as replacing the pump, you got those two lines, the two water lines, the two wire nuts, and you, like I say, you just twist them together. And then there are four Phillips heads. That's the only tool you would need. 
in the event that you got to replace the water pump, a Phillips head screwdriver, number two screwdriver, which is the most common size. You take those out because that those anchor the pump to the deck uh, because it does vibrate some and you don't want it jostling all over the place. Um, in the event that you do, you take that out, get the old pump out, hook up your water lines first, and then uh, anchor it to the deck. It just makes it a whole lot easier than, than fighting the water lines uh, with a pump that's already mounted. Hopefully this helps, but let us know um, if you have any other issues.